Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live and in effect as I report to you from behind this, this plastic microphonic device. A member of this community has read my mind. The great Zarnoz. Yes, indeed. I was thinking about going live for a surprise. And Zarnoz read my mind and he came in with a massive strike across the bow of 20 gift memberships from Zardoz. Thank you, Zardoz. Good to see you. I hope everybody is doing well as we as we uh, press forward here. Device. Yes, indeed. Never. Welcome, one and all. Welcome. We've got uh, RH is here. M Mayo Monkey is here. Rick Roman. Chowder. Good to see some new names here. Welcome. Silver Wolverine is here. Eli is here. Troll Fighter is here. Silver Wolverine posted a great video you guys should check out on the Silver Eagle. Very interesting about what is being said, and he puts the uh, he puts that myth to rest. So check it out. So if you did receive a channel a membership from Zardoz, give him a big thank you. Thank you, and good to see you. One of the reasons why I like to do these uh, off-night broadcasts from time to time is we might get some new people popping in, and that's exactly what's happening here. Good to see you guys. All right. Uh, James Smith, good to see you. Arctic Miser is here. Adam White and John uh, Hukulak is here as well. Let's get into some of these comments. We've got Stacking Silver says, Nice job, Salivate. Those are sweet bars. Thank you. Love those Geiger bars. Still have them in the original plastic, too. Paper Money, nice bar. Great video. Keep stacking. I do have one of them not in the plastic, and it's kind of got some interesting toning and the like. Very good. And it's Chuck and Plata's birthday today. Happy birthday to Chuck and Plata. David Moulton is coming to us from the future because he's in Australia and it is already Sunday there. Welcome, David. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well there in, uh, in the nation of Australia. Very good. All right, let's see here. Let's get over here to uh, Numismatic King. Cool satellite. I just saw a second version. Darn the Planets. Uh, PFAES in India. Nice. All right. I must have missed that one. The Dawn of the uh, Unboxing the Planet of the Apes. Yes, indeed. Very cool. I don't know where that series is, but I'd like to see. My name is Jeff. Just picked up a tube of 2021 Type 1 Eagles for $5.90. Nicely done. It seems like that's a good uh, price. Type 1s, 2021s. All right. Very good. Let's go over here to TB Modeler from eight months ago. You know, it's interesting. These are showing up as hardened, even though I didn't. That's crazy. And anyways, so TB says, had a catalytic converter stolen from me. Uh, hope the guy chokes on his platinum. Yes, indeed. I, exactly. Me Or he turned his life around, whichever happens first. Yes, I hear you. It's tough. Uh, sorry to hear that. It's a crazy. All right, very good. And uh, Alexis Volleyball from Wisconsin. Thank goodness for good guys reporting on the truth. Thank you. And Alexis, we also got good news from Wisconsin. I just reported on in yesterday's video. Hope you will check it out because no more taxes as of today for gold and silver in in the state of Wisconsin. Very, very good news. Glad you're here with us tonight as we press forward. We've got, uh, all right. Thank you, Wisconsin. Yes. And this is the video I'm talking about. So Alexis, if you get a chance to check this video out. Huge news from Wisconsin about gold and silver. Matt Bender with an al algorithmic emoticon here. Friday Night Live, gold and silver. And on Wisconsin, that's right. It's a victory we can definitely uh, claim for Wisconsin, especially. And thank you again, Zardoz, for those gift memberships. That was awesome. Very kind of you indeed. And good to see a Major Lepke is here. Always good to see new folks popping in. Appreciate that. Speaking of Zardoz, here he's got some algorithmic emoticons here too. With a gold medal. Appreciate you, Zardoz. And Zardoz has been posting actually some cool little clips on his channel too. So check him out. Steve C is here. Welcome to West Texas. Stacker is with us as well. Good to see you. All right. And Silver Bison says, great news. Yes, it's always good to have some good news for the community with all the bad news that's going on, especially that terror attack in uh, in Russia. Uh, people are wondering, and it is a little bit suspicious what's happening there. I don't know. I don't want to uh, cast judgment yet, but it is uh, troubling. Uh, China Mitchell, great video. I remember when it was only 75 cents to see a movie at the theater. 
And a candy bar was 20 cents. Wow, those were the days. I don't remember those days, but that's wild. So it was 10 cents from the vending machine. And a single piece of candy was only a penny. Now a dollar can't buy you nothing. Not even at the dollar store. Exactly, that's true. The American dollar has lost its purchasing power greatly. Awesome information. Thank you, China. It really does put it into perspective, doesn't it? All right, wow. Yeah, my name is Jeff. That is a great deal. Congratulations. And we have Kevin Hawthorne coming to us from Lakeland, Florida. Very cool. Seth Shepard is here. Richard Metcalf is here. Thank you guys for being here tonight on this little surprise broadcast here this evening. We're just catching up with some comments saying hello to you guys. Welcome. And Fred Blanchard is here as well. We have Albing 1397 says the tax averaged about $1.55 on each ounce of silver, I opted for the long term and paid the tribute. Um, and this will really help when buying high value gold, where some uh, some could pay 7.9%. LCS Durs and coins will greatly benefit as you could travel a few miles to Illinois to avoid that tax, and people will do it. They'll weigh the cost of gas and the travel with the tax and make that effort for sure. Jamie Fox is here. Welcome, Jamie Fox. Appreciate each and every one of you joining us here tonight. And if you did receive a channel gift membership from Zardoz, give him a big warm thank you. Uh, Plumer Albinak is here. Welcome, Plumer. Plumer, good to see you. And welcome to Wasilla Stacker. Thanks, brother, for popping in. Sabinator is here. George Sweeney has popped in as well. Good crowd joining us tonight. We almost have 100 viewers. Uh, excellent kind of surprise uh, for uh, tonight. In fact, uh, I posted... A video earlier today that is what is known as an evergreen video if you guys get a chance to check it out we're going to get to some of the comments on it here uh here in a moment but it's how much silver should you stack how much should you own uh i get a lot of questions about it i don't think i've actually done a dedicated video like i did this morning so if you get a chance to check that out and share it i appreciate that very good cyber curtain twitcher is with us tonight welcome cct good to see you my friend no way. I can't believe it. On a Saturday night, we have a scammer, folks. A scammer is calling us on the Saturday Night Live. Here we go. Hello? Hi. Yes, hello. Good afternoon, sir. This is Gavin calling you from the Windows Technical Support Team. How are you today? I'm Windows Technical Support. Thank you. I'm doing great. I'm glad you called. My computer's running a little slow. I'm sorry? I'm glad you called. My computer is having problems. What actually happened, sir? Well, it's just really slow and sluggish. I think I may have clicked on something, and it's causing my computer, and I get these strange messages that pop up. Can you help me? Uh, sure, sir. Can you be in front of the computer? Yes, I can be, but I have to turn it on first. Can you hold on while I turn the computer on? Uh, Sure, sir. Okay. And it might turn me on. It, when, Go ahead. Uh, when it's on, just let me know, okay? Okay. I might get turned on, too. Is that okay? I'm sorry. I didn't get you. No, it's okay. You don't have to get me. You don't have to apologize. Let me turn the computer on. Just a okay. second. Okay. Hold on. Sure, sir. Okay. It's loading autoexec.bat and... Um, and an I and I file. Let's see here. Windows for work groups 3.11. Uh, when was the last time sir, that? Go ahead. Uh, when was the last time, sir, that you used a computer? Uh, it was about five days ago. Uh, okay, so at that time uh, it worked. Uh, was it working? It was working five days ago, but it was really slow because I clicked on something. It says, click here for a strange thing about, it made me curious. It was something very strange and curious, kind of like a Zardoz. It was a Zardoz message. Mm -hmm. It says, click here for the latest news on, on Indian scammers. And I thought was curious about it. So I, when I clicked it, it, it just popped up. And then my computer is running slow ever since then. So now it's really slow. Okay, I'm, it's loading Windows for Workgroups 3.11 now. 
It's almost done. It's loading all the icons now. Okay. Can you tell the people behind you to, to settle down? I can't hear you because they're talking too loud. Tell them to shush. Oh, okay. It's okay. Can you shush them? Turn around and go shush to them. Say shh. Okay. okay. Can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Thank you. I can hear you better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. It's all booted now, up now. What do I do now? I'm on the home screen. Yes. Okay. What exactly do you... Okay. Now, um, if you can just have a look at your keyboard. So, I'm on looking. the extreme bottom left corner, do you... Uh, yes. Do you see the CTRL key, sir? The CTR key. key yes, I do see the CTR oh. key. CTRL key. I do see it. Yes, it's the CTRL key. Right. And uh, next to that, what do you see? I see. I see. There's a space between the the key that's next to it, and it's a dark chasm. There's a space between. You know what I mean? In other words, there's a blank space in between that and the other key. That's what I'm looking at. That's right next to it. Uh, okay. Can you can you just have a look at your computer screen? On the bottom, do you see where it says type it to search or search? Uh, no, I don't see a, a search. Box with a magnifying glass? I don't see that, no. A search box. Because I've got Windows for Workgroups 3.11. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, where can I find the search button there for Windows for Workgroups 3.11? Ma'am, can you help me? Okay. Are you helping me? Uh, sure. Okay. Ma'am, I'm a little nervous. What's going on there? Uh, yes, I'm, I am here. What does Zardoz mean in Indian, in uh, Hindi? Okay. Do you know what this, because that's what I clicked on, it was the How Zardoz. Yeah, I'm just curious. What does it mean in Hindi, Zardoz? Why would I know? Who, who is that? I don't, I don't know. know. I thought it, I think it's a virus. It just the virus just sent me ten memberships. It's crazy. You know what I mean? No. Okay. What is that? So I don't know that. I don't know. I'm, that's why I'm it. hoping you can help me. That's why I want you to help me, please. Sure, just hold a moment. Okay, I see a silhouette of a man. Bada boom, bada boom. Let me see if I can call it back. I might be able to call it back. Your call is very important. Ah, we Please might. Stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Okay, let's see here. Zardoz means vodka, says Metal Seer. Okay. All right. We'll see. Let's, and buddy... She sounds Dutch. That's right, exactly. All right. Richie Luxury. That's Folgers Black Silk, in case you're wondering. That's right, exactly. Richie Luxury. You've got it. That's exactly right. I'm wasting her time. That's right, Robert Laird. That's what we like to do to the scammers. We like to waste the scammers' time. That's for sure. Try it again. Uh... All right. Now, Mike says here, folks are not buying because they're deciding if they're going to eat or put more money on the credit card. And folks are selling because they're broke and need food. Yes, uh, that's I think that's there's a lot of truth to some of that for sure. Yes, indeed. And let's see here. We have got uh, Stephen Nelson's watching the live stream. Well, thank you. We're back on tonight. In the surprise, so maybe you'll pop in for that too. Appreciate you being here. We've got nickel stacking. I said all along, no banks fail, no government shutdowns, and printing money with election year. No one ever here believed me. I said all this would happen this year. After the 5th, banks may fail and government will be back to potential shutdowns first of the year. <clears throat> 5th of which month, though, nickel stacking? Uh, Stephen Nelson says, I wish I had a credit card with all these congressmen and women spending money. Yes, indeed. Uh, if we could actually spend their money, it would make a big difference for sure. All right, Liquid Electrum is here. Lurking and slurping. Good to see Liquid Electrum. 
Another bank failed yesterday. Whoa. I'm, I haven't heard about that, Robert. Interesting. All right, we're not going to waste any more time with that. They're not answering. All right, Matthew Crust Life is here celebrating on this video. Appreciate that, Matthew. All right, and he missed this one, but he's back here now. Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate you being such an awesome viewer. And uh, Gatita Oso, Oso is here. Welcome. Welcome to Truthful Troll. Dean R. is here. Ridge Runner is with us as well. THS is here. Appreciate you guys. Let's see here. Al says, haven't bought any silver for almost a week. Starting to go through withdrawals. I understand. Uh, it's, it's tough. I uh, gotta get another silver fix. And I wonder if I bought gold, if it would take care of my problem. I'm gonna try it. I know I hear you. It is tough. Sometimes it can be addicting, which is why you're gonna want to stay tuned for tomorrow's video. You're gonna want to stay tuned. It's an it's a video you're probably not gonna want to miss tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Yes, indeed. And uh, let's see here, Justin Hunt is just stacking. Very cool. Yes, and nobody would have believed 220 gold six months ago. That's right, and I predicted. So far, I've been right about gold for the past four years in terms of its price prediction. And I've been wrong about silver the last four years in terms of the price prediction by the end of the year. It's crazy. And uh, thank you, Seth Shepard, for watching both videos today. really appreciate that. Very kind of you. And good to see you all. Let's see here. And Al says, also here, glad to see the states starting to get their heads out of their butt and recognize real money. And it's not just about recognizing real money. It's about the condemnation of our central bank, the Federal Reserve, because it weakens it. It's a middle finger to the Federal Reserve and the system that has become corrupted for sure. Gold and silver cannot become corrupted. Uh, the price might be manipulated, but the value certainly is not. All right, thank you so much, Truthful Troll. Whoa, Truthful Troll with a 499 Super Chat says, stack it to the rafters. There you go, brother. All right, you were the man. Thank you so much. Very kind. And uh, Cemetery Shop, yeah, that was Zardoz who did that for the channel gift membership. Thank you, Zardoz. And, and I appreciate him doing that. And one of the reasons why these people do that, to show great support, is hoping that you might continue it after it expires in 30 days. So definitely appreciate it. Very, very cool. And uh, let's see here. Let's get to this next comment. I get my mouse back. It's boring just uh, stacking silver eagles. Yep, I agree, says Shepard. I, I like to stack a variety of different uh, types as well, too. I talk about that in my latest video as well. And uh, Lucas lives in Wisconsin. Yes. Good news for Lucas for stacking. Yes, indeed. Yep, silver still mired in the upper 24s are tripe metal cedar. It's going to be very interesting tomorrow night, especially with what happened last night in Russia, uh, which could uh, really, um, you know, upset the apple cart with the geopolitical events. Who knows? Some people feel like that terror attack very well could be the beginning of World War III. I hope not, but that could be the precipice. We'll find out. Very good. Rush just bought 15 ounces. Very cool. Silver dimes. Yep. Got to love those silver dimes. Silver dimes are the staple for fractional silver with the lowest premium for sure. How many more states remain uh, remaining that tax metals? It's about, um, well, they're the 44th. So I think about, uh, fifth, well, I guess six, six more. Six that do not. Six that do not. And there's six that have taxes on them. Six states that have uh that tax precious metals yes indeed all right let's see here and uh where are we at let's get over here i missed the live but we'll sure catch the sunday night market watch well thank you and if you're around right now well we are live again steve c so maybe if you're not doing anything tonight you can swing by but if not we'll see you sunday and you are the man Oh, that guy, Dregs, is here. Welcome. Oh, that guy. Good to see you. And Mike Raymer is with us. Good crowd tonight. I appreciate you guys joining me. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, the, most of you guys are aware of the massive 130 people dead on that uh, atrocious uh, terror attack in Moscow. Uh, man, and they caught the guys, and they didn't, they didn't sound like ISIS people to me. Uh, not at all. I don't know what what it what it means or what's going on or if it's an escalation. Uh, they's Putin blames Ukraine, but I don't know. 
I just it's too early to tell, but it doesn't seem like ISIS to me. Uh, Matthew Crustlife, thank you, brother. I'm watching these videos and a uh, bunch, bunch of these others watching them just going back in time watching those appreciate it and steve nelson what should i buy five dollar gold indian head ms61 or a five or ten dollar gold from canada hmm that's a good question whatever you desire whatever you think is cool whatever you like welcome to big trader good to see you welcome welcome uh, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, oh, that guy dregs. Your videos inspire me to purchase a 10 ounce Valcambi. That's cool. Now, is that a 10 ounce silver bar? That's cool. That's cool. Congratulations, oh, that guy dregs. Metal Seer, yesterday, 322 was the anniversary of Skull and Bones. Wow. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. I love how Metal Seer dropped some knowledge in and uh, some cool little factoids. Thank you for that. I wonder if there's a connection. I'm not sure. But anyways, I owe some people some push-ups. Let me do 10 to catch up. 10 push-ups. Hold on. I'm going to do 10 push-ups. Just a minute here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There we go. All right. Now we're back in action again. Thank you. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy dregs. Is that a 10 ounce uh, silver bar? And uh, Wisconsin Woodsman says, for once, I like something our governor has done. Well done, Tony. Yes, we give him. Yes, that is uh, definitely good. Uh, sometimes that can even happen. It's pretty amazing. All right. Ray Gilgreth, when it comes to voting, I will not be the options on president are no good either way. Well, Rail Gilgrath, um, I would say that uh, this is the case to vote for lesser of two evils, if you think that, because uh, when, if, if you really do feel the way you do and the options on president are no good, well, just look at what we've got now and look what could be if he stays in there. Because, um, uh, uh, you know, look at where we were. Right now, we both know what both men were as president. Um, and things were a lot better four years ago. No question about it. Uh, so I would encourage you to vote for Trump. William Jones, awesome news, Sal. Thank you, William Jones. All right, let's see here. Dennis Niemeyer is here. There's Steve C. Steve C has made it with his here, just built a chicken coop. Wow, that's a lot of work. Man, thank you for popping in, brother. Yes, indeed. And Bob Silver about this video from the Victory from Wisconsin says the following here. Tomorrow is LCS Saturday, everybody. It's always exciting to first enter the shop and do a quick scan to see new stuff I'm brought in. I've got some uh, really good stuff at the shop. Last Saturday, I bought a full roll of 20 1984 Inglehart Prospectors uncirculated. Even came in the original Inglehart plastic tube. Little did my LCS uh, guy know that these empty Inglehart tubes sell for $70, $80 bucks a pop. Wow. $620 for the 20 rounds and the tube. Amazing. You know, I have an original Sunshine Mint uh, little five, uh, half ounce tube of, uh, of their uh, pieces in the original tube. That was pretty cool. But anyway, it's very good. Let's see here. Uh, yes, I did notice that too, Metal Seer. I saw that as well too. Crazy. Very good. Yes. Wondered about that as well. I don't know. I mean, the thing is, is people can really easily find a fault with pretty much any video nowadays, for sure. Uh, good to see Auto Auto Silly Who's 1025. Good to see you. Welcome. Glad you're here. And uh, let's see here. Steeler Stacker says, have a great weekend. Well, thank you, sir. I hope your weekend is going well. We're in the midst of it now. We've got objective sovereignty. Says maybe they are only appearing to be bucking the Fed. Even if the digital is backed by gold, it's still uh, and uh, be programmed. You can still have your transaction stopped and your account closed. And that's true, but uh, the thing is, is um, it's probably less likely to, to happen on the state level because state governments are much more accountable than, than the federal government. But yes, that always is the case. Because like I said, no matter what, 
even if it's backed by gold and the gold is in a vault and you're using a digital card, there's still counterparty risk there. It's just less of a counterparty risk than a fiat currency uh, that is uh, digital where they can take it away at will. Uh, so it's a lessened, it's a lessened risk. Zook is here as well. Good to see you. And uh, let's see here. Uh, Wood Delph Dragon says here, I'm from Wisconsin and now I have more options and opportunities to get tax-free silver and gold. I'm happy. Very, very cool. All right. All right, folks, I'm going to be right back. Uh, I've been waiting for the coffee to brew and I'm going to go grab it real quick. So I will be right back. Just bear with me one second. We are back. All right. Very good. Sorry about that, guys, but we're back and had to get a little coffee. Let's see here. Mmm. Deliciosus. All right. Very good. Appreciate you guys. A lot of good folks popping in tonight. All right. Ray Gilgreth is here. Yes. There's no, to me, there's no comparison between the two presidential candidates. None at all. Uh, it's a yeah, I encourage you to just vote for Trump. Things were a lot better under Trump than they are now, you got to admit. Uh, let's see here. All right, very good. Let's see here. We have got uh, Robert Spivey says, It would be nice if they get rid of the tax on precious metals in Massachusetts, but pigs will fly first. Well, I'll tell you what, I understand. But look what happened there. In I mean, he was a Democrat governor and a fairly liberal Democrat governor. And he signed the bill anyway. So you never know. The best thing to do is just to, um, uh, you know, contact your legislators in Massachusetts and encourage them to to uh, pass a bill. And hopefully one will be introduced there. But yes, indeed. All right. Let's press on here. We have got uh, uh, Skip Tickle. I love that name. That's a pretty cool name. It says, bad news. Sal says there's bad news in the world. I listen to CNN. Binomics is working. There's no southern border crisis and EVs are going to save the world. <laughs> All right, exactly. Very good. All right. Let's see here. I know. I sense the facetiousness, if that's even a word. All right. Nice. Very good. Uh, Jeffrey Jackson is here. Good to see you. Good evening from West Virginia. Doing well. Thank you, brother. There's Jeffrey Jackson, the one and the only Good evening to you. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you so much. Yep, we got more inflation incoming. $1.2 trillion. This is really going to put the Fed in a in a, in a a quandary, um, for sure. Uh, it's crazy what's going on with this spending. I talked about that last night, too, Liquid Electrum. It is madness. Mm -hmm. As we slurp our way through this live stream. All right. Now, uh, Money 3 Stacking says here... I was the first female precious metals collector in Wisconsin State that got the news email from Money Metal Company about this incredible groundbreaking news. I cry with joy about the governor signed the bill. I buy gold every month and five grand plus Wisconsin taxes. This Wisconsin tax and my gold eating away my future savings. If that is not worse, Wisconsin recently changed the taxes to 7.9%. Today was a celebration from Wisconsin people like us. Yes. Indeed. Good news. Thank you for reporting. Tazente Flight is here. Good to see you. Didn't miss a whole lot. But glad you guys are with us tonight. Tom Larson is here. And Dean R. is still with us as we press on forward. Platinum Beast went and checked out the very first video. And recorded. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Yes, indeed. Come a long way. 
A thumbs up from Silita. Thank you. Appreciate that, Silita. And Daniel says, but do they but do they will tax you when you sell your metals for cash? I uh, there may be some federal ones for above ten thousand dollars worth. I'm not sure. Uh, but I don't think they will. It just depends on the rules in Wisconsin, but I don't think so. There's a lot of taxation coming and going, for sure. Uh, no question about that. And we, we're taxed so much. Sometimes we're taxed multiple times in the same amount of income. Uh, it's, it's insane. It's insane what's happening. Think for yourself, says Sal Gold has made multiple new all-time highs for the past few years. The silver hasn't come close to new all-time highs since it's, uh, it's the last high in 2011. That's true. People are getting tired of getting wrecked on silver. That's true. People, it's it's tough. It is tough. Um, you know, silver has yet to reach those highs. And a lot of that is because of it's an industrial metal. Um, a, largely is seen as a commodity by the markets. Although it does have monetary aspects, but you're right, and it is frustrating. Thank you, think for yourself. Appreciate that. And let's see here. Mm hmm. My Carrera is here. Welcome. Good crowd tonight. Appreciate you guys joining me here. And this is a little surprise live stream. For those of you who don't know, I don't know who doesn't know, but over 130 people were dead in Moscow from a terrorist attack that occurred there. A uh, gunman came in and opened fire on innocent uh, uh, concert goers, and it was a horrible, horrible atrocity that occurred there. Then they set fire to the place, caught, I think, all of the perpetrators. And uh, I watched some of the videos. I did not hear them say Allah Akbar or anything like that. I don't know. They say they're from uh, Kazakhstan or, uh, or Tazakhstan. I'm not sure, but... Um, uh, or to, I didn't know what it was, what nation it was from, but one of the stands, and uh, don't know. And apparently they were paid money for this. Um, but uh, one of them supposedly, according to images that we show, uh, you know, there's two different sets of images. One that says that one of them was a former Ukrainian soldier. Another one from ISIS that says that they were former that were ISIS soldiers, but their faces were blurred out. So I'm not sure what to make of it. But anyways. All right, let's see here. Uh, KG Valve 8755 on this, I believe this lie about gold and silver for years says, um, after getting into collecting metals, and boy, oh boy, there was some very sound advice, thought processes, and some crazy ideas about the future. I wanted to get in for a hard to get savings account, but I see some more are all about return. Thank you for sharing some lessons you learned along the way. Well, thank you. Yes, indeed. And I think it's about having realistic expectations in the bottom line, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Let's see here. And Bosnia Stacker, thanks for checking out the live stream. Appreciate that, brother. And uh, here he also says on this uh, victory video about Wisconsin... Let me get over here to where I can make the most progress. Bosnian says, who cares what people representing Satan are doing? And yes, I am talking about our politicians. Christians should remain politically neutral for religious reasons. Based on what the Bible teaches, they do not lobby, vote for political parties or candidates, run for a government office, or participate in any action or change governments. They believe that the Bible gives solid reasons for following this course. Well, uh, you're talking about the Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses do not get involved but Christians do. We don't believe the Bible is against getting involved in politics. There's been a lot of Christians that have been involved in, in politics. And I think we should be involved in politics. Heck yeah. Uh, look what's going on in, in this country today. It's, it's an absolute insanity. But thank you. Let's see here. Uh, Clint, we are in the calm before the storm. Black Swan event coming. General Flynn uh, comms. Buckle up. I don't know what that means. General Flynn comms. But... Uh, one thing is for sure, this could be the beginning of something bigger with this attack. We don't know. It's, it makes me nervous. Let's see here. I don't know what it, what is going on, but uh, yes, indeed. Let's see here. Could be very and any number of things that could be occurring. There's so much misinformation, disinformation, and uh, and, and 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 speculating about this attack. It's crazy. Let's see here. 
Mm -hmm. Ah, let's see here. Bazin Saka, thanks for the news and thumbs up. Thank you. JP Morgan Precious Metals Manipulation Trial begins. I've been, been, been covering the JP Morgan case since its inception, all the way to the sentencing phase, uh, what I've done on the channel. But thank you, Boston Stacker, for checking that out. Good to see Mr. Blue is here. Welcome. Welcome. Good to see you. General Flynn, 45J6 comms, communications. Yeah, it could be. I wonder. It's kind of vague there. We don't know what that means, but thank you. Good to see you. Paula G is here. Seth Shepard, do you think it's Ukraine that did it? I don't know. It could be even, it could be anything from um, Ukraine. Some people think that even the CIA got involved in it, that Israel did it. I've heard that Israel has, has a, was a, that some people say Israel was, uh, took part in it. Victoria Newland said something about uh, that uh, Putin was going to be surprised on the battlefield, but that doesn't say a theater in Moscow. But I would not also would not leave out the option that maybe it might be an inside job by Putin himself. I don't know. It could be anything. But I don't think it was ISIS. I don't think it was ISIS, but I don't know. Well, we just got this. I'm sorry, I'm just now seeing it from Tom. From Tom Larson. Thank you, my friend. Happy Saturday, Sal. Eight dollars. Thank you, brother. Are you still here, Tom? Thank you, my friend. It just came in. I'm sorry. I'm just now seeing it there. Eight dollars. PayPal, friends and family. And so because it's PayPal, I owe him 16 push-ups. So, Tom, thank you, brother. I hope you're still here. <coughs> thank you, my friend. Let's give you eight or 16 push-ups. Let's make it happen right now for you. Tom Larson, happy Saturday, brother. Here we go. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And 16. I felt the blood pumping on that one. Very cool. Thank you, Tom. You were the man. Are you still here? Thank you, brother. Sorry, I'm just now, it just came in. Oh, I'm there. He is there. Is Tom? He says, No exercise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just did it. Thank you, Tom. Oh man, I'm sorry. Exercise. I saw you. I just saw your comment right after I got done with this push ups. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, my friend. You are the man. Thank you so much. All right. And let's see here. And you know what? I'm going to do... This is just... Since this is breaking news, I'm going to do a poll. Um, I'm just curious to see what you guys think. Um, And this is just what you think. Uh, let's see here. Um, hold on a second here. What do you guys think? Just curious. It's... It's so early and it's hard to say. I don't know. I really don't know, to be honest. But I'm curious to see what you guys think. All right, there is Matthew Crust Life. My ex love polls. That's funny. Good to see Matthew Crust Life is here. Good to see you guys. All right. And MC says, Now you are talking like I've been thinking. People are broke. Industrial demand is down and going down. Depression, maybe. Could be. There's a lot of different things. There's a lot of aspects of the silver market that can push and pull its price in multiple directions. And I think that's the thing that frustrates silver stackers. And that's what prevents the uh, prevents the uh, the um, uh, the price from really breaking out for sure. All right. Mm. Uh, societal collapse enjoyer. The most epic collapse uh, that will eclipse the Great Depression is coming. Silver will help with that. Yes. All right. And I tell you, no matter who is to blame for the terror attack, there's no excuse for it. 
And uh, it is horrible what happened there. These are innocent concert goers that got gunned down in cold blood. And no one should ever defend that. And whoever is responsible for it should pay big time. It's just crazy. Just crazy what's going on there. So it's married to different uh, res uh, responses here. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's, 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 and this is crazy. Let's see here. All right. Yep, that's right, Mike Carrera. I did remember seeing that. I thought that was a strange, strange thing, especially since we're disconnected from Russia uh, so much. Why would they put that? I mean, everything just is, is very odd. I don't know what to, th I don't know what to make of it. Uh, I'm going to be as open-minded as possible about this. But it's horrible what happened. Absolutely horrible. Uh, John Bannon, nope, no more silver for me. Uh, I've got more than I need. I will hold it. There you go, brother. Silver is not the money of gentlemen. Gold is. Guess that makes you one, Sal. All right. Well, they say that... Uh, okay, yes. Uh, gold, is the, uh, gold is the money of kings and silver is the money of gentlemen. But I don't know. What do I know? Yep, silverware is typically 925. Yeah, 925 silver. And I just slurped some coffee without it. Let me do a, a, a proper slurp here. Mm, there we go. It's very good. Welcome to Chad. Wolf is here with us tonight. John Anders is here. Welcome. Hey, yep, West Texas stack of freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on. For them to do the same. And there's a lack of it these days to preserve that freedom for sure. You're right. Well stated. All right. PM hatefuls on this video. Is silver dead? And we're going to get to today's video shortly. I've been trying to sell trade some gold to grab more silver. And nobody on my CL post has contacted me going, uh, me going to a month. I think the public is broke. So we must hold whatever asset we have just before they destroy the dollar. In the next economic system, precious metals are going to be repriced, and that's when people are going to regret not having silver. You know, and I don't know what that next economic system will look like. I still think they have a, several tricks up their sleeve before we get there. They will not lose control and power over the people. And that's why the central bank digital currency is going to be coming. And they got plenty of time to do it, uh, I, I, I think. So that's why they're not so concerned about $1.2 trillion extra dollars being printed. They're not concerned about it at all. Uh, you know, it's just, it's it's insane. But anyways, let's get to the next comment here. Uh, we have got, uh, let's see here. Uh, we've got a uh, user going to make this painfully easy. Uh, good people. Facts here, he says. U.S. worst economic experience was a Great Depression. That's true. Every Federal Reserve chair is aware of this and is committed to inflation with at least 2% of the target. Of course, no central plan authority can precisely achieve this when not simultaneously in control of national budgets and most everything else in the economy. Three, the world is ruled by Keynesians. Paradox of thrift, a uh, fiat currency is doomed. Therefore, if a central bank dominated landscape, which planet Earth currently is, as precious metals and other vital resources, particularly scant and limited, will always rise in value over time. Always. Simple supply and demand requires this. Yep. That's right. In the end, that's what happened for sure. Good to see you guys. Niels Han Dynasty is here. Welcome. And David St. Louis, 30 million illegals. Make sure you have plenty of lead as well. I tell you what, that's pretty crazy what's going on at the southern border. And uh, let's see here. And we've got uh, James uh, Auden and Son says, as a Wisconsinite, I will say Tony Evers finally did something right. I honestly thought I was dreaming when I heard this. Yes, I was dreaming when I heard this. Forgive me if I go astray. Evers signed a bill to make taxes on gold go away. Sorry, I just had to go there. Mm. Ah, yeah. Let's see here. And Tall Goofy B have enough for now, need the money for house and groceries. Yep, there you go. I think, and stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about that later. All right, thanks for the news and heads up. And I appreciate him, uh, Bosnian Stack, and going back and watching the older videos. 
He's watched thousands of my older videos, and I really appreciate that. This is what these are about. And John Morgan here on this Is Silver Dead video. That's right, Cemetery Shop. We need more silver in private hands. I agree with that. Um, here he says, um, enjoying the eye candy, especially the Kookaburra and the Libertad. Traded three 2020 Libertads for two 2023 proof Libertads and two more for the line of Mortimer towards my Queen's B series. Trade the PCGS Oregon Trail and others. Now trading, so he's doing some trading back and forth. That's cool. Congratulations, John. You know, and that's just it. It's about preferences as well when you've got it. Thank you, Paul and G. Appreciate that. Sometimes you just got to sing it. Welcome. Good to see Matthew is here. Yeah, the Bengals. That's right. All right. And a little, it's a cross between Prince. It started out with Prince and then moved to the Bengals. You're exactly right. And good to see the lovely gold chick is here. Welcome. Uh, the Blunt Realist. Uh, Rick Rule compares silver to uranium. Interesting. All right. Welcome to Noam Avraham Dudai. I hope you're safe there in Israel. Welcome. Good to see you. All right. Let's uh, press on here, shall we? A lot of good folks here tonight. Thank you for participating in my poll. I'm curious to see what you guys think. So far, 43% of you think that the CIA was responsible for this terror attack. Uh, so let's see where people lay on lie on this. I think it could be a myriad of different things. Uh, and uh, tell you what, let's see here. All right, Gregory Green here says this. Let's see here. I think the March, April 2023 bank crisis frenzy on silver with super high premiums really affected people's appetite for it. You had silver at 26 with premiums well over 10 bucks. All those people who bought at that time are way underwater on their purchases. That's true. They either gave up and recovered what they could or holding out for $36 silver to somehow break even. Either way, I don't think they will look to silver in another crisis. Combined with people just needing money, you will see sellers far outweigh buyers. And the other issue is that Bitcoin ETFs have taken off. Making it an easy way to trade crypto. Yep, that's true. Yep, a lot of that, a lot of people feel pretty burnt, hurt by it and burnt by it. All right. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> and we've got uh, Edward. I want my boyfriends to pay me with gold backs. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Pay you with gold back. His boyfriend, her boyfriend. All right. Uh, Aaron Buster, TCIF turned into a scam. That stock plummeted. Oh, man. Well, just because a stock plummets does not may, mean it's a scam. Uh, James Owens, I know it's crazy heavy at this point. All right, there you go. This is on my video. How much silver should you own? A guide to silver stack. You've not seen this video. Uh, I've had a good number of people ask about how much silver should they own. I give some guidance in that video, so I hope you will check it out. All right. Yeah, let's see here. All right, then. User says, uh, as much as you can afford. There you go. All right. Nice. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. And we've got David Miles says, $1 million gold member. Whatever is healthy for your income. There you go. All right. Based on your income. Uh, Sugar Man Platinum. It's my bet affordable and ready to move. My version of affordable gold. My two cents. There you go. All right. Thank you for your two cents. Appreciate it. Uh, and uh, let's see. Here. Thank you, Stefan Cossette. Welcome, Stefan. Good to see you. Or Stephanie. Appreciate you being here. And let's see. Here. We've got my kitten is a grandmaster. As much as you can afford to purchase without putting yourself in debt. There you go. It's definitely a, definitely a wise way to do it. But I think it's good to have some other assets and some other uh, buffers in there as well, too. A cash buffer is definitely a good thing. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's tasty, tasty, tasty stuff. It's coffee here. Very good. Let's press forward here. And what do we have as we march on ahead here? Let's see here. We have got... Wasilla Stacker, I'll keep growing my stack even if I wind up needing to rent a forklift to move it around. There you go. Well, I tell you what, you know, you joke, but really, storage is an issue or can be an issue when you when you uh, amass a certain amount of silver for sure. 
that is one problem. And I kind of mentioned that to a degree in this video. Uh, but yep, a good, good post there, Basila. Yes, indeed. Good post, indeed. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You guys, welcome. Appreciate you guys being here on a Saturday night here with me. Good to see Robert Kemp from the United Kingdom. Good to see you. We've got C.D. Morrissey says, I'm satisfied with the 1,495 ounces of silver that I have. Um, but I do want to add another 24 ounces of gold to the 26 ounces I already have to make it a nice even 50 ounces total. I'm waiting for gold to get to 2,000. I'm very close before I buy it. Yeah, it's crazy. Waiting for a dip at 2,000 for gold. Man, what a time we live in. Man, something else. All right. Let's see here. Uh, we have got uh, Rocky Superstar. Good morning, sir. Stack it to the moon. Thank you, brother. Rocky, you are the man. Hope we continue to heal up. And we also have uh, Deborah Romine here on this video. Some good comments on this video. If you guys have not seen it, how much silver should you own? A guide to silver stacking. And she says the following. Thank you for all those numbers. I'm approaching 300 ounces. So at least that lets me know that I'm not being ridiculous on my stack. I'll keep buying the dip. I just started stacking in 2021. Well, you're doing quite well, Deborah. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. I wasn't sure when to stop. I only have silver right now. Every time I think I want to get gold, I think about how many ounces of silver that one piece of gold will buy me. Love your videos that keep me motivated. Yes, thank you, Deborah, and I appreciate that. I certainly understand that about uh, gold. I was there too. But sooner or later, you'll get to a point where, where you'll realize, hey, maybe it's time to move into gold uh, or to diversify with gold. And you'll get there one day. Uh, very, very good. Let's see here. Let's get over here to David G. Thanks, Sal. Stacking for generational wealth. Amen, brother. That's a good plan. Good plan. A lot of people, it's stack for life and transfer it to the next generation. And definitely a wise move. It's a sending quite a legacy for sure. Quite a legacy indeed. Silver has only not been money for 53 years. Or 5,000 years before it was still money. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Very, very true. Liquid Electrum. All right. Um, let's see. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what we've got here as we move to the next comment here. All right. Christopher All and Drunk. More, and I'm a financial advisor. All right. Yes, I am a financial advisor. Cool. All right. Nice. Thanks. That's awesome. Keep on stacking, says AU hey, Rockin. That's right. There we go. Stack on. Traded all my silver and gold for fentanyl. Oh, my goodness gracious. Man. I don't know if that was a wise move. And let's see here. We've got uh, Ryan says here. A, uh, eagles and maples make up main part of mine. I also have Philharmonics, Buffalo Rounds, and I want some 10-ounce RCM bars and some 1-ounce bars. Yeah. It's good to be diversified when you're stacking silver. I agree. And West Texas Stackers, almost to 200 ounces. Way to go, brother. He just started in July of last year. Amazing. Yes, indeed. Gold and Silver Junkie is here, but and I appreciate it. He's late, but he is here. That's awesome. Appreciate it so much. Appreciate every, each and every one of you for being here tonight. And we've got uh, Cora, uh, Coret Mana says... And bonus, it's antimicrobial. That's right, it sure is. It is antimicrobial, silver is, for sure. <clears throat> and we've got uh, Eagle Steve says, I agree, Sal, 500 to 1,000 is a good place to be with stacking silver. Don't forget to stack some gold, too. That's exactly right. Amen. Carrie Terran says, I guess I have to come out of retirement and get a job or two if I want to, if I want to get 500 ounces. We know... I, yeah, and I know, I, I wonder, should I say it? Should I say the number? And that's not going to be right for everybody. Uh, I know it's a lot of silver to stack. 
Uh, you got to do what's right for you. But even if you have a couple hundred ounces, two or three hundred ounces, it's good. Uh, but that's over the course of a long period of time. The reason why I said 500 ounces to 1,000 ounces is talking about the long game. It's something you should be doing for a while. Uh, make it a part of your routine. You know, it doesn't mean you got to just, you know, it's about dollar cost averaging through the course of time. Because that's how really you're going to be able to take advantage of what silver is about. Um, and it's about saving. It's about discipline in the end. So that's why I put those numbers out there. I know they're somewhat ambitious, but thank you, Katie Tehran. Zardoz is still here peeking in on us. Thank you. And thank you again, Zardoz. He sent 10 more Salivate Metal memberships across the bow. In fact, I owe him 10 push-ups for that. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you because actually we're pretty short this month on channel gift memberships. So thank you for filling that gap. Let's do it. And Lars Job did uh, uh, as well, too. But Let's do 10 push-ups for Zardoz on that. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there we go. Those of you who don't know, every dollar donated via Super Chat, I usually do a push-up or exercise or gift membership. And uh, via PayPal, friends, and family, it's two. So there we go. All right. <clears throat> Uh, William uh, Gibson says, as much as you can afford while still paying your bills and feeding your family. All right. Very good. Thank you, William. And we've got uh, Dan Cooper. I'll stop once I have enough to fill a Scrooge McDuck money bin. There you go. All right. The Scrooge McDuck factor. Let's see here. And no push-ups. Okay, thank you, Zardoz. I'm sorry. <laughs> I appreciate that, brother. I'll remember that for next time. You, you are the man. All right. Culture of Currency says, thank you for saying every person is different. If someone says that silver, gold, real estate, or other investments are one size fits all run. Exactly right. Very, very true. I think everybody should probably have some, but everybody has different uh, situations as far as how much. You're right. Very good. Thank you. And uh, uh, Coret Tan um, Mana says, uh, if stacking for a family, simply multiply everyone's weight in ounces. There you go. All right. There you go. John Anders. John Anders. First uh, super chat here. John Anders, thank you so much, my friend. Everybody give him a big thank you. John Anders, $2. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to give you two. I'll, I'll, I'll put this two in for the next one. For, well, I'll just do these two push-ups. Since it's your first, I'll drop and give you two push-ups. Very cool. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate the support, John. One and two. Two good, solid push-ups there. There we go. All right. Thank you again. All right. We're getting forward into the future here as we respond to these comments. Moving on up here. Eagle Steve, I look at it like it's my rainy day savings account that I can hold until needed. Boom. I like how you think. That's exactly right. Very, very cool. And we've got two brothers stacking who's got a great channel. Both of them do. They're brothers for all. We don't have DNA results to prove that, but I'm going to take their word for it. Every time I think we have a good amount, we buy more. Love my silver addiction. How many ounces of silver do you have, if you don't mind me asking? We are just over 1,300 ounces and trying to have 2,000 ounces by the end of the year. Wow, two brothers, you're doing great. I would defer you to my full stack video if you've not seen that yet. Check that out if you get a chance. I, I mentioned how many I have there. Um, and I think you might, I'd be curious to see what your thoughts on it with the, with the, uh, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the variety here. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, John. Yes, indeed. Get me in shape. Uh, a lighting designer for a porn film. I have no experience, but I'm very motivated. There he goes. <laughs> All right. I like that. All right. Is it Stefan or Stephanie? I think we talked about this before, but I forget. Stefan or Stephanie? I think it's Stephanie. I think it's Stephanie. All right. Uh, Kelly Shanker's Guitar Lessons. She, Kelly's Guitar Lessons. Has got to hear no evil, speak no evil, see no evil. There you go. All right. And Michael K says, good morning, Sal and family. Good morning, Michael K. You are the man. Appreciate you so much. 
And we've got the Victoria Sordia. Victoria Sordia. 500 is a great goal. Could could save you from invading Vikings. Exactly. You gotta be safe from the invading Vikings. As they like to plunge and plunder the silver. And that they do. Well, Nelson. Nelson Lazo's first super chat here. Five dollars. Wow. Thank you so much. I'm going to drop and give you five push-ups, too. Appreciate that, Nelson. Very, very cool. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> five good push-ups from Nelson. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Oh, yeah. Things rolling, rolling, rolling. Appreciate that so much. That's two new super chatters, and I appreciate that, guys. Very, very much. And uh, Tay Jones says, Howdy, howdy. Feeds YouTube algorithm. And I appreciate that. Need all the help I can get trying to grow the channel. So I definitely appreciate that. Let's see here. I like that. <laughs> Metal Seer. That's funny. 5,000 ounces of silver and tomahawk missile. Keeping the myth alive and enhancing it. I love it. That's great. I love your sense of humor. Very, very cool. And then let's see here. The Asset Stacker is with us tonight. Good to see you. It's going well. And Ken D is here. Look up stuff independently. That's good. It's always good to be independent-minded and not just take everything as for face value. It's good to keep an open mind. Speaking of that, it is not sure where the what the cause of the attack is in Moscow. So far, 46% think the CIA was involved or directly responsible. 24% for ISIS. Out of 112 votes, 19% say Ukraine, and 11% say Putin. I didn't put Israel on here. I should have, uh, but uh, but uh, yeah, just say that separately. But I should have put because that, that some people think that they were involved too. All right, Annie Oakley, great video, Sal. You made some excellent points. Well, thank you, Annie Oakley. I appreciate that so much. Matt Bittner with an algorithmic. Uh, coffee cup filled with coffee. Let's take a slurp here uh, of this coffee. Mm -hmm. uh. Johnny thinks the Vatican was involved. I think I think North Sentinel Island was responsible for the attack. North Sentinel Island. Look that up. Nobody's talking about that, but I think they may have been involved. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. And we've got uh, Vic Clemente says, the better question is how much junk silver should you have versus 995? Uh, well, it's not necessarily. I talk about junk silver. Um, I mean, you know, that's that's a very, very, that's a very subjective thing. I guess it could be talk, but anyways. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Where are we at? Uh, T Girl says the mostly the monthly flea market coming tomorrow, and I am ready to buy. Only if I can find deals. My guys hooked me up, but I have priority gold gram bars. Torrance Flea Market. Hope to see you there. It's nice, cool, good job. A great place to buy. A great, great place to buy. All right, very good. Welcome. Glad you guys are with us tonight. And we've got the gold and silver says, silver kills all fungus, bacteria, virus, parasites in the blood. U.S. patent um, does the same for world's blood supply. Yeah, well, I don't know it kills everything um, because there's still a lot of viruses and diseases out there. Unless there's something way to go. Very good. That Paula G, there you go. Paula G gets the joke. That's right. Ancient people. They're the ones that the only uncontacted uh, civilization on earth if anybody tries to go there they will be met with arrows for sure Mexico will be out of silver in 2026 asking for a friend Dennis Niemeyer actually did a video on that topic if you go to my channel and you scroll all the way to the right there's a little search button there type in Mexico silver let's see what pops up uh, yeah Shocking, Mexico could run out of silver by 2026 if this happens. So check that video out here of two months ago. 
Just type in Mexico Silver Scroll down and you'll see it. And watch that video for me. Let me know what you think. All right, let's see here. Yes, people do buy on the weekend, Jesse message. Uh, these local coin, these uh, online bullion dealers, they're open 24-7. They'll take your order. Uh, Thomas says, don't have more. He says here on this, do not have more than you can carry on foot on your person or travel in a car. If your car breaks down, you can kill silver in a box, monster box or boxes. Yeah, but that is very limiting. That's very limiting um, because some people assume that uh, you need to actually, you know, if things get so bad, um, you know, it doesn't matter. You may not even have time to pull out what you can carry. You know, it's going to be, things are going to be much worse than that. Long Live Coins is here. Good to see Long Live Coins. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. Count Derpula is here, otherwise known as Count Slurpula. Here we go. Mm. And uh, let's see here. We've got R3. Don't forget the wonderful two ounce coins around, Sal. I find that they're a great way to purchase and hold product. I do agree, and I've actually shown one. No, I don't, maybe I don't show one in this video. But anyways, but you're right. You're right. Let's see here. Thank you, Bill Arrington. Chris G is here. Welcome, Chris G. Good to see you. Michael K, dedication to silver and the Salivation Nation. Thank you, Michael K. And Noko Troma says, if you don't have at least 5,000 ounces when the dollar collapses, then it is too late for you. You will be doomed. Well, Noko Tromas, I'll be doomed then. I wholeheartedly disagree with that statement. In fact, I mean, no offense, but it's a, but it's a ridiculous statement. Uh, because I don't care if you have 10 ounces or 10,000 ounces. You're better off than someone who doesn't. And any, every little bit of silver you have is going to be good. Is good for you. And uh, and uh, you know, it's just it's it's crazy to think that's that's an insane uh, accusation. It's not going to be too late. All right. Solar eclipse live stream. Yeah, I might have to do that. It depends on what day that's on. It's on the eighth. And I'm not sure. I haven't been keeping up with it. I, I saw one map that showed several different paths for it. Does that mean they don't know where it is? I'm not sure. But anyways. Jim Lewis says, I do not have nearly enough, but at these prices, I'm holding off, adding to my stack. It's good to kind of see if there's a dip. Good idea. Gold and silver. So in early 2000, I had a chance to buy silver at $4. 20,000 ounces. Wow. Invested in something else because I was scared by the 80s, but most of it in something else. Long story short, I want 20,000 ounces. That's the goal. Wish me luck or not. The Cubs are going to win another World Series. Wow. The most I've ever seen somebody from this community having is 17,000 ounces. But yeah, crazy, crazy. All right. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. And... Alan Allen says, uh, Bald Guy Money did a video on how much we should own. I was disappointed with this video. It was pure waffle. You never get to the point. I did get to the point. Uh, well, Alan, you didn't watch the video because I clearly said what was in the video. Yes, indeed. Uh, and Cemetery Shop is exactly right. And he asked why he's here. Uh, or, or Yeah. Um, Alan Allen didn't watch the video. I hate it. People do this. And, uh, you know, I mentioned it early on in the video how much we should own. Um, Alan just didn't pay attention. Cemetery Shop. Thank you, Cemetery Shop. This bugs me. This is one of my biggest pet peeves when people make comments without actually watching the video, making themselves look like utter fools, this guy. Because I did mention it there. Thank you, Cemetery Shop. You are the man. Um, and, and yeah, did you even watch the video? And he's laughing and calling Cemetery Shop an idiot? Man, I'm, I'm almost tempted to ban this guy, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, what a ridiculous, what a ridiculous comment. It's crazy. Seth Shepard, thank you so much. Yep, I think you're right, Zook. He's a mentally irregular Good to see you, Mr. Dreams. Thank you, Seth Shepard. Three ninety-nine. Let's do four push-ups in your honor. Let's see here. All right. And one, two, three, four. All right. 
And the thing is, is Alan's going to be too lazy to come back and hear my response. So I'm tempted to, uh, I'm tempted to respond to him here, uh, just to put him in his place. But really, Cemetery Shop did it, said it all. Uh, let's see here. I hate typing. I suck at typing. Ah, dang it. All right, there we go. <clears throat> Let's see here. Very good. Let's see here. All right, now, Jeff Nelson says, I got plenty of walls in my garage that need insulation. There you go. Hey, that's actually a good way to hide your silver, too. True that. Yeah, true that. Very good. There you go, Matthew. No, I don't want to do that. But anyways, all right, let's see here. And we've got user says, uh, thank you. Good job. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that very, very much. Uh, the, so the silver supplement, that's a good target range for new stackers to shoot for. I look at metal as part of the savings account. Uh, a percentage of your savings can be diversified with metal. Obviously, it's important to have one's finances in order before uh, going too heavy into metal. Yep, that's right, Silver Supplement. Very well said. Exactly. Very good. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Welcome, D-Glass. Good to see you. Let's see here. Let's march ahead here. We've got uh, Jim Shearer says, stack it and forget it. If you watch the price, you will be disappointed. Yep. And, you know, in the long run, the fundamentals of it remain strong. Talking bullion here. Been a long time since we've seen talking bullion. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, yes, I know CCT. He hates typing too. Exactly. Uh, so he says, great video, Sal. I use a three-leg approach. One third rounds and bars, one third ninety percent, one third government issue. I like that. You just never know what the market will dictate or what you will need. I think it's best to diversify. Also, don't forget the gold eagle. That's right, and gold either. You're right. True that. Very, very true. All right, let's see here. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Joshua, so silver bullets are a good investment. Yes, I've got a couple of little silver bullets of the 45 caliber variety. David Davies says, as much as you can afford to lose, I will barely keep up with inflation. Being outside the system is about the only reason I can see. Yes, indeed. Uh, but it does keep up with inflation over the long course of time. No IQ says... I'll keep buying until I retire, and when I get back to work. There you go. Nice, no IQ. You were the man. And uh, let's see here. We've got Richard uh, Chiboga says, We seem to be living in a golden age for minting. Uh, there are beautiful products coming out of national and private mints, except for the U.S. mint that seems to rely on recycling old designs. Yeah, I mean, they do have new designs on the commemorative pieces, but uh, they certainly aren't bullion, that's for sure. You're right. All right. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Appreciate y'all being with me tonight as we march on. We're responding to some comments and hanging out here tonight. Uh can somebody give me a synopsis and maybe type my name in the chat? What's the significance of the um, of the um, solar eclipse that's coming? 
Uh, there's some buzz about it, but I've not really read too much on it. What are the, some of the conspiracies about it? Coin Collecting Fun, thank you so much for checking out this video, brother. And Marcos Quadandola says, I've been watching this channel for 10 years. While I love the content, I must say that stacking silver is not my approach anymore. Gold and Bitcoin is what I prefer. I sold all but 300 ounces of silver for the former. Okay. Hey, no problem. I understand that. Some people, they change over time. I understand that. Red Crawler is here. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Let's see here. And uh, let's see. The Evan Man 4498 says this. He says, actually, that amount is not much given the passage of time. Cut out $7 lattes and junk food, take out other unhealthy spending, and it won't take long. Rule of thumb, you always have been 5% of your net worth. Prefer to keep it anywhere except where I live, and I don't have to worry about lead and brass cylinders. That's true. Yep, you're right. You're right. Matthew Crestlife, are the last five solar eclipses to have a path of totality in North America, too? We're during the Civil War, and two were during World Wars. Okay, thank you, Matthew. So many people feel that it, it could maybe spark attitudes towards uh, violence or towards World Wars. Wow, crazy. Thank you for that. City people are afraid of the dark, says Tom Larson. That's what it is. All right. Good evening, Nordic Omerta. Good to see you. And uh, let's see here. We've got... Uh, James Lovell says, as much as you can safely and securely store. All right. Thank you for your insight there. Cemetery shop. And again, thank you for coming to my defense on that. And the thing is, that guy, he's never going to respond and admit he was wrong. That's the way it usually happens with people when people do that. I get so many comments like that, that take the time to type out a nasty comment without actually watching the video, actually paying attention. And, and then when, you, when they're called out on it, they never show up. They never, ever show up to apologize or admit they were wrong or anything. It's, it burns me up. It's crazy. But anyways, uh, so cemetery shops, I'm not really looking for any particular amount as a limit. I've been a serious stacker about 10 years, and I really don't want to say exactly how much I've accumulated, but I just can't bring myself to say it's enough. I think big, the silver price... Never goes to the moon. My stack will. There you go. And the thing is, it's an accumulation of the, the the value that you have in your stack. And even if the spot price drops, well, you've got a savings account that's likely not lost as much as a dollar has for sure. And thank you, Blunt Realist. I appreciate you being here, sir. Very kind of you. Zardoz, thank you, brother, for the thumbs up. James Smith is here. All right. Good crowd tonight. I keep on stacking, says Cherokee Cowboy. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do it. Keep on stacking. I keep on stacking in the free world. Except for tomorrow's video. Except for tomorrow's video. You're going to want to stay tuned for that one. Uh, don't take it personally. That's the internet. Yep, exactly. Well, it's humans, though. It's the humans on the internet. But anyways. Uh, let's see here. And love your video, says Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. YouTube isn't really set up to easily check past comments and responses. Yeah, I guess you're right. For some things, that's not the case. And some of these uh, comments get put in my spam folder, too. But I always check for that to see if they if they pulled the hell for review. But anyways. Uh, Plasma Burns. How do you get around the 28% capital gains tax when trying to sell silver? This tax makes metals a liability, not an investment, by selling for less than ten thousand uh, dollars and small amounts at a time for cash. Uh, all right, yeah, where has Nick been? I don't know where Nick has been. I hope he's okay. We missed Nick. I had cereal for supper there, Red Crawler. Uh, all right, and uh, Sugar Man says I hear people talk about safes all the time, but really the best safe is no one knows that's right keep it secret keep it safe all right and john thompson says here and the following silver as financial insurance i have a formula that i use for myself and it helps 
me identify a gold for my silver stack. Divide your debt by 400, and that is the total silver needed to protect you in a financial collapse. $400,000 divided by 400 is 1,000 ounces of silver. Retirement insurance formula for your retirement nest egg divided by 2, divided by 400, was 1,250 ounces. Interesting. I like that. We kind of came to the same conclusion. You use math to do it, though, instead. It's crazy. Uh, yep. Um, Cemetery, uh, Blunt Realist says capital gains don't kick in until somewhere around 45,000 or something. Another. All right. There, so it's 45. I always thought it was 10,000, but maybe it is 45,000. Very good. All right. Uh, selling under 10,000 works, too. That's right. Very good. All right. Let's see here. All right, let's see here. Very good. And Matthew Crustlife says, Celebrate Metal, I am streaming this right now and commenting live. Nice. Thank you, Matthew. Picked up some treasures at Goodwill today. Way to go, Matthew. Actually, I did see your email. You did a good job. Some good sterling you got. I did see that. Thank you, brother. Alien was just thinking about the Cookie Monster and Slurpee Sal delivers the good advice. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right, there you go. CCT just posted a short, so check him out. Very, very cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Ellie, the safes have changed a lot over the years. Just get good, uh, well, uh, highly rated, double protected. There's Rhino safes, there's Liberty safe, there's a couple of good safes out there. Uh, make sure they're fire protected. I think that's very, very important. Very, very important. All right, as we press on here, we've got uh, Wildcat. Cool beans. Thank you. Thank you, Wildcat. Appreciate that. Uh, Jay, 696. I hate these handles. I wish they would just do the channel name. Much of silver stacking depends on when you're doing it. The first time I started stacking silver in the early 2000s, silver prices and premiums were low. I eventually sold most of that silver when it tripled in value in 2011. Silver has been a big loser for me since I started stacking in 2020. Premiums and the price per ounce have been so high that I've only picked up a few hundred ounces. I'm content with that right now. My gold purchases over the same period are doing a lot better. I don't consider PMs as an investment. I see them as a form of savings. They can easily convert asset that is outside the banks. More of the prep against economic instability. I'm going to focus more on my 401k this year because I'm pretty sure that Social Security will not be around for when I need it. Yep, I understand, and thank you for your thoughts there. Very, very cool. Nice. Uh, Stephen Higby says, definitely as much room as your safe can hold for sure. Nice, nice. All right. And uh, Dude says, thanks, Al. Appreciate your analysis. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you taking the time to watch. And we've got uh, Adam White says here, he's thankful that his home state of Wisconsin uh, repealed taxes on precious metals. Only wish Governor Evers would have done it last year when he didn't pass this. I've accumulated 5.5% more ounces in my stack over the previous year. Nicely done. All right, very good. Hello, Donald Marlin. Good to see you. Silas Martyr is here. Appreciate you guys being here tonight. As we press on here, let's see here on some of these comments, see what people are saying. Splinter, I'll stop at 5,000 ounces and 150 ounces of gold. All right, there you go. So he's got a pretty big goal there for silver. All right. Unpopular opinion says dollar cost average can be applied to lead as well. That's true. Very, very true. In fact, it can be a, a, accounted for a lot of different things. I miss buying Russian rounds from my AK at around four dollars a box. Yeah, I remember those times. Wish I would have gotten more ammo then. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. Where are we at? Part-time prepper, good of solid advice, Sal. Haven't stacked much in the past year since we retired. We are at around 40 ounces short of a nice round number. Yesterday got some unexpected good news regarding our tax return. So I think we will put some funds into getting to that number. Well done, part-time preppers. I wish I got good news on tax returns. I don't have any. I've got to pay in big time. Let's see here. 
And uh, let's see, as we press on forward here, <clears throat> let's get over here to this. We've got uh, Dudas Maximus says on this video about how much silver you should stack or own. Based on the amount of silver in the population, if I have 300 ounces, that's way above and beyond what the average person has or doesn't have. Yes, I also invest in lead steel. Yes, indeed, that's true. 300 ounces is a good number, too. Uh, Long-term capital gains are 0% up to $47,025. Yeah, very close. That's good. Nice. Uh, Long-term capital gains. What about short-term? Are there, there short-term capital gains or any taxes, any federal taxes at all? As I've heard, $10,000 is a number where you have to fill out a form. Uh, but long-term capital gains may be a different scenario. So I'd be very curious to see where that 10000 marker is. I'm pretty sure there are taxes you have to pay. It may not be long-term capital gains, but probably short-term if there is such a designation. All right, John Bannon, good video, Sal. Well, I've got a lot more than 150 ounces of silver. Way to go, brother. That's awesome. Um... I do get your point. God bless. Keep prepping. Soon we need to get our silver. It will be an ounce or just an ounce no matter what it is. A $200 collective coin will be the same as a round. It's about weight for me, not really what. I do have some very nice stuff too. There you go. Yep, I understand. In the end, things get really bad. It's just going to be the weight for the silver for sure. Uh, taxes as regular income. So Okay, so there would be anything above $10,000 would be... Um, considered um you know regular income all right thank you all right let's see here long live uh, coins first majestic sells one half ounce rounds same premium as one ounce rounds when available that's a good point and i think i've seen that too but you got to be careful with uh, first majestic number one there is a pretty hefty shipping fee if you don't order if you order below $1,400 uh, $1, or 1450 I think is the number. And then there is a premium on those. And the, their, their premium doesn't change a whole lot. Their price doesn't change a whole lot. So if silver goes down, you're paying a pretty hefty premium on one ounce as well as one half ounces. This is why they do that. This is why they're the same price. So watch out buying from First Majestic in that regard. Ponzo says, large blizzard, $7, that's more than a quarter ounce of silver. If you're married, that's a half ounce. But what about if you're married with two kids? I know I can do the math. That's a full ounce of silver. Uh, let's see, Silita, thumbs up. Thank you. Appreciate that, Silita. All that engagement does help for sure. Uh... WCA Bannis, here's a great 50% of your yearly satellite in silver, 200% in gold. That's a start. Okay. Thank you for your insight there. Let's see here. 79 is with us tonight. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see here. And Miguel, silver is a good leverage against the fiat dollar. It sure is. It is a good leverage indeed. Robert says here, only had to sell once, got divorced, and she got three-fourths of the stack. Ooh, that hurts. Wow. Uh, C. Phipps, I say only own as much silver as you can carry. That's getting difficult for me, though, as I'm buying more gold lately. I understand. Although, remember, not every situation means you're going to have to bug out in an immediate. That's highly unlikely to happen. Um, but even if it does... You could return back, too. Silver at its best. Beware of the great silver pullback. That's right. 80% of your check. Oh, my goodness gracious. Jim Catanzaro. That's crazy. 80% of your check. You must have no bills at all. Even so. I would not advise that at all. Mm. Ah, yeah. Uh, let's press on here. Not advisable. Okay, let's see here. Snakebite says, cool, I just broke through the 500 mark. I'm a 535 ounces and three and a half ounces of gold. Way to go. In less than three years. That's awesome. That's really cool, my friend. All right. Yes, indeed. Welcome, welcome, one and all. Glad you guys are with us tonight. Ah, 
yeah. Let's see here. As we are pressing on here towards Independence Day. Independence Day is closer than it was two days ago. Just so you understand. Alright, thank you so much, Golden Needle. He heard the call with the scammer last night. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Appreciate it. Alright. Bosnian Stacker, as much as you can afford. If you want my number, at least a thousand ounces of it in your stash. Nice video and thumbs up. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Johnny Silverfoot on this video. He's got some experience in stacking. I know he's been stacking a long time. He says the following. Uh, messing around with my numbers, and I think right now I'm approximately 50% silver, 25% gold, 25% platinum. Not counting rhodium and palladium because currently don't have much of either. As far as total ounces owned, I think the person should decide how much they want to risk their money to paper and digital assets over physical. Personally, I'm not interested in risk of paper and digital, so all my money is either metals and or about 90 days currently in fiat. All right. Thank you, thank you for your insight there. All right. Just Fred, surprise, surprise. Glad you guys are here. Appreciate it. Yes, indeed. All right, thank you, Ellie. Yes, the goal I would like to get. Um, if you, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, if you're not subscribed here, can you let me know in the comment and uh, what could I do to earn your subscription? I'm curious because I like to. I would like to get a hundred thousand subscribers. Naturally, that would be nice to do. But uh, I, I obviously, I have to earn your subscription. But I celebrate everyone that does subscribe, and I appreciate those that do. Cardavu, it depends like budget, age, income. Yep, exactly. Each person's situation is different. Silver Alliance says, keep trading your extra fiat for silver. Yes, indeed. Discretionary income and understanding that is the way to do it. All right, let's see here. All right, let's see here. Okay. I'll sub for five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I'm gonna unsubscribe so Sal can earn it back. <laughs> no, we're gonna be moving backwards. Let's see here. All right, uh, Brian Smith or Smith here three thousand says this on how much silver you should own. Video: The government isn't corrupt. They look after us. Don't shatter my dis dreams. I'm up over a hundred ounces. Took me four years since the beginning of the pandemic. All right. Well done, Brian. That's awesome. Very, very cool. All right. Well, John Anders, thank you for coming by tonight. Thank you for your super chat. I really appreciate it. Enjoyed dinner tonight. Appreciate that so much. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. All that going, saving up for a car. So all that extra money is going to go there towards that. So thank you so much. Uh, I just gave a sub. Always like when I catch your videos. Let's explore. Well, thank you, Phil McCracken, for subscribing. I appreciate that. It should pop up here if you just subscribed. I haven't seen it yet, but sometimes it's a little late when it does it. But thank you. I'll look for your name, Phil McCracken. Thanks for the sub. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Dr. Uh, 7 7 Funkenstein. Fiat is not money, it's currency. Uh, well, I beg to differ there. I've talked about that before. Gold, silver, and money will always be. Currency is a subset of money, by the way. There's a big difference between money and currency. And that's because you have um, listened to Mike Maloney, and I disagree with him on that. Uh, currency, as another subscriber said, is, is merely a subset of money. Uh, Frank Barton gave their first super chat of the night. That's the third person who's done that. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, my friend. Four ninety nine. Wow. I'm gonna give you five push ups, and thank you for that, my friend. Make a website where you post your videos with AI written descriptions, and you Google search console to manually index each post. I've not heard of that. That sounds weird. I don't know. Post your videos with AI written descriptions. I wouldn't even know where to begin on that. That's crazy. Uh, thank you, Frank Barton. I'm going to give you five push-ups. Thank you so much. And, uh, you're right, sign up. Uh, it's a debt instrument. U.S. currency is a debt instrument. But indeed, when you have them in your hand, each one of these, even though they're backed by debt, 
they are in the plus column for you. Um, even, even though they're losing value. It's bad money. It's bad money. Gold and silver are good money. I've talked about that before. Let's do five push-ups. Frank, here we go. All right. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Now, for those of you new here, um, what I do for every dollar donated via um, Super Chat, I do one push-up or, or one... Um, or one exercise. Every dollar donated via PayPal, friends, and family, I do two because there's no taxes there. Very good. All right. Uh, let's see here. Big Trader, ask Chat GPT how they will give you step by step. All right. I got to remember exactly what that is. And Big Trader, can you email me that? I might have to look into that. If it's too much work, I don't know how, how much I'll do. But go watch Ace Tone. Yeah, if you can email me that. Just what you said in the chat, uh, that'll remind me to go do that. Thank you. All right. Tiger Stacker, we've missed them. We just were asking about you the other day, Tiger Stacker. He says, sorry I've been away. We're cutting in the middle of everything. Uh, nice to be back with you. Uh, want, want for sale and everyone. Thank you. Good to see Tiger Stacker. I'm glad you're okay. Hope, <coughs> hope, everything, hope everything is well. Big Trader, check the email uh, at the bottom of your screen there. Sullivanmetal at gmail.com. Very good. It's good to have $60 on hand. Any more, you're paying most a dollar a year to keep physical dollars. All right, let's see here. Silver Turtle is here. Silver Turtle's been posting some cool travel videos at this time in Portugal. Sailor Stacker says, good info, Sal. Love the channel. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. And uh, we've got uh, Fat Gandalf says here, I don't know, Sal, I'm cuckoo for the Scottsdale one half ounce lions. You should see the look on people's faces when I dump 20 raw lions on their hands. I think I have one of those. Those are cool. They're extra thick too, aren't they? I have no doubt that I will never have a problem getting rid of them for premium. The stack of pamp, 10 gram silver lotus flower, and banyan tree bars I have are a different story. Fortunately, I got them on the cheapy cheap. All right, thank you, Gandalf. Appreciate that. And let's see here. Ron Wells is here. Good crowd tonight. Appreciate it. As we press on, we've got Clinton says, would like 500 ounces. Long ways to go still. Yes, I hear you, brother, but that's all right. Just take your time with it. And uh, so for Wolverine, thank you. He checked out an older video. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. And Robert... Laird says, I stack previous or precious metals because I don't trust the banks and because it's a hedge against inflation. Uh, it's also true wealth. A, a, a country's wealth is measured by how much gold they have. Why not follow that same principle and stack for yourself? Yes, that's right. Exactly. Use nations. So be your own central bank. That's right. All right. Thank you, guys. And uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, thank you for participating in the poll. We're going to go ahead and end this poll now. Most of you think the CIA was behind the Mount Moscow terror attack. So there we go. Out of 173 votes, Ghost Diz says, one of the best videos you've made in a while. Well, thank you, Ghost. I appreciate that so much. Uh, enough people have asked about this. I figured it was worth a dedicated video to. So thank you. I appreciate that. Jeff says, great video, Sal. Thank you so much, Jeff. And CCT says, you nailed it when you said it's the ultimate power against the system. Yes, thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And that's really a very powerful reason to hold it. Yes, indeed. All right. And uh, the Moof Dog says, thank you. Good video. Thank you so much, my friend. Richard says, I agree, anything over a thousand ounces is a lot. I don't have that much, but I recently moved. It was a pain in the posterior. It's heavy. I can't wait for the gold to silver ratio to narrow. I hear you, brother. Yes, indeed. All right. 
Let's get over here to D Glass is have has a comment on this video, and I appreciate everybody taking the time to watch this video about how much silver you should own. Let's get over here to where I can make it uh, most um, efficient here. Just a second. We have got that uh, precious metals is the only substitute leg. He says in the triad uh, that can provide a means of barter. So in other words, the two other things that will too, look at your neighbors. Do they prepare for the end times? If they don't, if they don't stack, they probably won't be able to provide you with what you need. The priority of any person is food, water, and seeds. There you go. The triad of one, store food such as rice, beans, black oil, sunflower seeds, and canned food. Two, water stored in multiple locations, multiple containers, even as small as five gallons can get you through a week for loss of utilities. And seeds is a means of ensuring a food supply. Stored food is exhausted, and by that metric, the ability to grow food on own land or sprouting cabinets. Yep, that's right, D Glass. And I actually talk about that in tomorrow's video as well. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And let's see here. And uh, let's see here. Very good. And we've got uh, the American Omnipressor. This is a sign where we are heading, yes. A direct uh, rebellion against the uh, Federal Reserve System. <coughs> Excuse me. That sneeze was a false flag. It didn't happen. You didn't hear it, just so you understand. So it was, a, it was a ploy to try to get you to say, God bless me, but it was really a false flag. It really didn't happen. Cemetery Shop. The joy of a milkshake will last until you wipe your chin... But the joy of silver will remain until you buy again. There you go. I like that, Cemetery Shop. I like that. Although I do mention my milkshake theory in tomorrow's video, too. I hope you'll stay tuned. James Smith is still here. Thank you. Good to see PC Coinstar is here. Thank you, PC Coinstar. Good to see you. Mm. So I tricked two people into blessing me. But they didn't say God first. They just said bless me. There you go. That's right. Very good. All right. And uh, Duncan Mack says, it's rigged. Whenever they start pumping, it starts dumping. That's what she said. All right, very good. Metal Seer, thank you, my friend. Anonymous crypto wallets now illegal in the EU. Whoa. Wow. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is huge, actually. Anonymous crypto wallets now illegal in the European Union. That tells you something for sure. I tell you what, we'll, we'll roll that over with the next super chat to just remind me. I owe you two push-ups. Thank you so much. Uh, David Dixon says, since I began stacking, the goal has always been twice as much as I have at any given point in time. All right, that's a definitely a definitely one good way to look at it. Very sure. All right, and we've got uh, John Morgan on this video. Says the following, and I quote. He says. Does an ounce of gold count as silver according to the ratio? Going to need more 10-ounce bars just to keep up the weight. There you go. All right. Well, that all depends on your own personal situation. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I think that stacking, this is mainly towards uh, towards uh, silver. Uh, I might do a separate video about gold, too. But, anyways. All right. Crazy, crazy. I'm still shocked about what Metal Cedar just posted. That is something else. Uh, Duncan Mack says, is there one thing you can't pump? It's silver. That's right. Cannot pump silver. Silver is what it is. <clears throat> and, uh, Danco, I may be crazy, but I believe refined copper should be considered a precious metal. Despite its many other uses, we have been using copper and coinage for a very long time. It's time. Well, just because it's used as money does not make it precious. There's just too much of it. Um, although I do believe it is a monetary metal, but it is much more an industrial metal, even though it actually is currently still being used in money. But anyways, all right, very good. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. ah. Uh... The Rug Romy says, I passed 500 ounces a long time ago. And once I hit that level, I thought it would be okay. 
uh, and didn't buy any more for a few years, and now I'm marching on to a thousand troy ounces. Well, well done. And I, that's kind of the way I was too. I thought I had enough silver for a long time, and I didn't buy it for a great number of years. Actually, I kind of wish I would have still kept at it through the course. But anyways, all right. And uh, let's see here. We've got uh, TKO. Love constitutional silver, very unlikely to find a fake 1964 or pre-quarter or dime. That's true. It's not very often that you will find those. You're right. Jason King says, I feel like it's a blessing to have the knowledge to be a stacker. Thanks for all you do, Uncle Sal. Well, thank you, Jason King. I very much appreciate the kind words. Very, very much. A budget stacker says, good sage advice, Sal. Everyone's budget will be different. But sticking to it and targeting goals are a great way to get there over time and a great way to save real money for when you might need it. Gold is also great to include in your stack when you're able. It's an even greater and more stable precious metal. Yep, you're right. I, I, I on purpose did not talk about gold in this video. Uh, but I do agree with that and have uh, made that point many times. But you're right. All right. Let's see here. Steve C., who popped in here earlier tonight. I don't know if he's still here, but he says the following, and I quote directly, Great advice. I set small goals, and when I meet them, I make a new higher goal. As you said, I must say the full ounce of gold is a single coin is an awesome feeling. I meet in your challenge. That's awesome, Steve C. Yep, I encourage all silver stackers to try to save up for one ounce of gold, even with the prices where they are now. Uh, there's just something about holding that full ounce in your hand. No question about that. All right. Let's see here. All right. The first comment, or one of the first comments, rather, on this video about the huge gold nugget find. If you guys get a chance to check this out, this is quite an interesting story. Uh says, uh, U.S. government is spending $1.2 trillion in one day to avoid a government shutdown. Yep, that's right. Although that's not what the topic of this video was, but you're right. They sure are. Spending a lot of money. It's insane. And some of them are proud of it. In fact, Amy Klobuchar said, we did this at 2 o'clock in the morning and was so proud of it. She didn't, she just said, you're welcome. You know, talk about entitled. Absolutely insane. It was a disgusting post that she put. put. Go Maple. Wow, Sal, you must read The Klondike by Pierre Burton. Uh, Canadian journalist. It's all about the stories of Klondike, Gold Rush, and Maximilian Trump, the grandfather of Donald Trump, who made his fortune in gold. The foundation of the Trump family of fortune. Interesting. I have heard that about Maximilian Trump. That's cool. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's see here. Zardoz gave away three kilo copper pipe once. Wow. That's cool. It's a lot. All right. Uh, King Tiger's Crown Estate says they're 11 months later and platinum is trading at uh, 911. dollars $911 at the timing of this post. Well below the 1000 plus mark that I was trading at during this video. Palladium is still trading above $1,000. Yep, I'm doing some research on that. Uh, King Tiger Crown Estate, you're exactly right. Something is amiss in the platinum market, for sure. It sure is. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Very interesting news. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you, Ron Wells. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Indeed. And Robert Laird, who was in here earlier tonight. I don't know if Robert's still with us, but I appreciate him joining us and commenting on the videos. I have river property, and I haven't gone gold mining as of yet, but I would like to. I bet all I would find would be gold flakes. Yes. But it would be very cool if you could do that. That would be pretty neat if you could find some gold flakes. That's awesome. All right. Very, very good. Let's see here. 
Uh, let's see. Where are we at? We've got uh, Carrie Taran. You called it a gold bar. Is it okay if we're getting old? Yes. Oops. I meant to say gold nugget. I'm sorry. Thank you, Carrie Taran. Uh, Zook says, great video, Sal. Thanks for your continued awesome insights. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Gary Croft says, the site is close to Wales where you can pan and find gold flakes. That's awesome. Interestingly, the UK monarch's wedding rings are always made from Welsh gold. That's cool. I did not know that. Thank you, Gary Croft. He's from the United Kingdom. All right. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Ah, yeah. Let's see here. We're almost done with this coffee. Then we'll have some uh, chaser for it. Matthew Cross Life. Life 49. Feeling fine. Maybe next time I'll comment on time. I like that. Thank you, brother. You were the man. I appreciate that so much. Time to dream. Says the following here. He goes, um, if only a half ounce of silver exists per person on this earth, at 500 ounces, you would be holding the equivalent share for a thousand people. That's true, uh, if that would be the case. But as they're about eight or nine ounces per person on earth, I think, if, when I understand correctly. It's about eight ounces per person. What color Lambo? Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know if I was going to Lamborghini. I, I don't know, man. That's a good question. Maybe silver. Oh, I don't know. Silver with gold trim, if they could do that. That would be kind of wild. Can you imagine? No, but anyways. Bob Silver, when your treasure chest is filled with silver... All it means is you buy another treasure chest. There you go. I like that, Bob Silver. Yeah. What do you think, Tom Larson? What, what color do you think I should get? All right. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. As we press on here. Good crowd tonight. You guys hanging with me here on a Saturday night? Let's see what we do here. Lambo is grass-fed, says Ibji. Michael K., no doubt nice find. I'm an avid metal detectorist. That's cool. I wonder if you've found anything really cool in your hunts out there. He says, um, I'm happy when I find a pre-64 U.S. coin or silver or gold ring. Have a great night, sound friends. See you Sunday night. Thank you, Michael K., Look forward to Sunday night. You're going to want to hang around for Sunday night. It might get pretty interesting considering what happened in uh, in Moscow. So please come back tomorrow night. Black with gold trim. Ooh, I like that, Tom Larson. Yeah, black with gold trim. Very, very cool. Uh, moments in trading. I like videos like this. Remember when those two guys found gold bars in World War II tank? Yes. And I did a video on that, and I did a follow-up video on that, too. Yes, that was cool. That was really cool. CC, SCC, Coin, uh, Smith Coin is here. Good to see you. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's see here. Where are we at? Through the course of this. Blunt Realist, I just looked it up and did the math, assuming 8 billion people, it's 2.42 ounces per person. Wow, okay, interesting. All right, is that from the USGS numbers of uh, above, how much above ground silver? All right. Uh, Jim Karn says, I've got a natural nugget hanging on my neck that weighs a bit over an ounce. I wonder what it's worth. Probably a good amount. That's amazing to find a solid nugget like that. All right. Uh, Unidrummer says, oh, we have 191 thumbs up. Cool. Thank you guys for the thumbs up. Can we get 200? We need nine more for 200 thumbs up. Thank you for reporting on that, Jeff Nelson. Uh, Unidrummer, I've metal detected for 42 years and I've dug over 6,000 ounces of nuggets. Whoa. Are you serious? Wow. 6,000 ounces of nuggets? 
That is something else. Wow. Did he mean to, did he mean to say 6,000 ounces? Okay, Dean R., have a good night, my friend. Okay, thank you, low blood pressure. He's fishing outside. That's cool. Have a good night, Dean R. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow night, hopefully. John Lee, this is just a few miles from where I live, Uncle Sal. Tempted to buy a second-hand detector and go hunting. Yes, you should do it. That'd be cool, man. Metal Seer with a $2 um, uh, super thanks. And uh, no problem, Matthew. Appreciate you, brother. You can still pan for gold in Dalanega, Georgia, home of the first major gold rush in the U.S., and home where the Dalanega meant. There's a museum in a small North Georgia town. I'd like to see that. That's cool. In fact, this two super chat and the super thanks is four push-ups. We're going to do that in your honor. Thank you, my friend. You're the only consistent super uh, thanker, and I appreciate that. Super thanker, rather. Here we go from Metal Seer. One, two, three, and four for Metal Seer. Thank you, Metal Seer. Appreciate that. My friend. Oh. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, we've got Unidrummer. My biggest nugget is 12.25 troy ounces. So have this guy beat. That is insane. That's wild. I've never met anybody that's that's detected that much. 6,000 ounces, you got a 12-ounce nugget. Wow. That's, man, that's crazy. And North GA Prepper on this video about the, um, I guess that's uh, North Georgia Prepper. He says this, I buy something around every paycheck. I'm stacking at a silver to gold ratio of 100 to 1 because silver is so cheap right now. Only buy what is on sale and try to get the most from money. Way to go. That's wise. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. I get to see all of you guys here. Can somebody give us a thumbs up count? We're trying to get to 200 tonight. I appreciate you all being here. Yeah, I wonder too, Seth. I'm kind of curious about that. Yes, he does. Let's see. Does he have a YouTube channel, Unidrummer? I'm curious. No, he does not. Oh, yeah, he does. Let's see here. Oh, he's a drummer. Very cool. That's why I call him Unit Drummer. That's awesome. Very cool, but nothing about what he has picked up. I would love to see, love to see what he uh, what he has picked up there. Very good. All right. A Bill 457 says here, I had the quarter ounce Australian gold eagle. And it was another big nugget like an eagle. I do like videos like this. I rate 10 for YouTube. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right, let's see here. We've got Henry Bowman says here, I submit for your consideration converting unconstitutional fiat for silver is a most patriotic act for advancing freedom. There you go. 198 thumbs up. Thank you so much, Red Crawler. We only need two more. All right. Gold check on this video says the following. Yeah, I wonder that too, Matthew. I'm kind of curious. Dalang, I always have trouble with that. Dalanaga. Dalanaga. Twitch Radio is here. Welcome, welcome. 203 thumbs up. Thank you, guys. All right, we've reached over 200 tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Gold check. Usually you will get spot or close to unless it's rare and high grade. Very rare. So if you buy 100 ounce bars at $1, $2 over ask and can wait for an eternity, you can get spot back. 10s and 20 bars are good too. Maples are beautiful. ASCs are very hard to reach. Even the advantage for seller has a relatively low price right now. It's the max I would buy, and I don't play stupid mail order sight unseen material. Mostly I buy new means at low premium, not bullion except constitutional dimes for barter. Gold and platinum, way less. All right, very good. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your insight there, for sure. All right. Thank you guys for thumbing up and for being here tonight as we march ahead through this madness that is this live stream tonight. And let's see here. Uh, Lunkyful 
All of a sudden, gold price drops faster than an eagle diving to an increased supply while investors are buying at all-time highs. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy what happened with the gold price. Uh, Alabama, 47, long time no see. Good to see you. And uh, let's see here. Let's go on down here to some of these old comments that we've missed in the last hour or two here. Let's get one more from the from the peanut gallery from nine years ago here. Just so we can say we got it. Uh, he likes the Geiger bars too. Uh, Provident usually has good prices on them. Occasionally you can steal one on eBay bidding, but the premiums are usually higher than getting them elsewhere. Interesting is that you can get them in gram sizes as well as ounce. That's right. That's true. You're right in front of your back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. <clears throat> Let's do this. Can't believe that happened. Alan Allen, I seen a movie. The man had it in a big gold nugget down his pants. All right. This is the same guy that, uh, by the way, who didn't watch my video on how much silver should you stack. Super Boomer, over a third of the way here. I'm at 183 ounces, including 90%. Well done, baby Boomer. That is awesome. Way to go, way to go. You're a lucky duck. What a lucky duck. Yes, indeed, he sure was. Very, very lucky indeed. Bosnian Stacker, I need me some nugget for sure. Nice video and thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Sal, still going two hours strong. Yes, I know. Crazy. I can't believe it. Still going on. Accent is on land. Dalanaga. 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 I'll get it right one of these days. I can't say it for some reason. I couldn't agree more. Obviously, I love silver, but I need liquid dollars and assets for more alpha. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Uh, David McKenzie, never enough for me. Keep on stacking. All right. Keep on stacking in the free world. We're going to do it. Anxious stacker on this video. He's got some insight. Let's do this. Get this ready. Uh, he says, for me personally... I'm working on getting a monster box full of eagles and another 500 ounces and another sovereign minted coins, rounds, bars, and at least 100 ounces of silver weight and constitutional, which is what I already reached. I'd like to continue to stack a tube at a time because I can get monster box full fast enough. I don't factor in the high premium collectible pieces and numismatics into my base weight goals. So outside of the continuing of fear series, I already have a few things like working on getting like the kookaburra releases. I'm focusing more on eagles. Than anything else right now. Once I get up to my 1,000 ounce silver weight goal, I plan on switching over to primary stacking gold and numismatics. All right, there you go. Uh, and once I get my 1K silver, gonna uh, then that's exactly what I want. Prices as low as physically possible just means I'll be able to start getting more gold sooner. That's also why I'm grateful for anyone who sends me silver gifts because it just means I'm that much closer to goals. There you go. Unlimited income. Very good. Thank you, Anxious Stacker. Way to go. Very, very good. And uh, let's see here. Let's press ahead here. Arctic Miser. Most companies won't even send us Canucks anything. Uh, no way to insure packages north of the border. Yes, I know. I hear you. It's a problem. Wegapal says money has, <clears throat> nobody has money anymore. Uh, we are on the last few spews of steam from COVID. Yes, crazy, crazy. Buried silver coins at rivers along St. Augustine from galleon wrecks. Phone wire pole diggers would see coins come up with the auger. Yeah, that's cool. That is amazing. Can you imagine seeing that working out and seeing an old silver coin pop up? Mm. It's just crazy. All right. Now I got Chaser in there. Cherokee Cowboy, <clears throat> who lives in Arizona, says the following. Uh, explored different areas constantly with my buddy. We found fossils, Indian ruins, and artifacts, even a five-inch meteorite near Tucson. 
We used to pay him for gold in Prescott, Lynx Creek. Got some decent placer gold there. I miss the exploration. Sounds like a lot of fun. For sure, stay well hydrated. You said Dalan Naga correctly once. Okay, one time I said it. I'll probably get it wrong again. Dalan Naga. All right, thank you, Metal Seer. All right. Dolanaga. Dolan. Dolanaga. I'm going to drive myself crazy trying to pronounce it consistently. Great news for our home state. The value of gold and silver remain constant and the dollar's value keeps diminishing. Stack on. Exactly right. Jay McGuire. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thumbs up. Says Silita. Thank you, Silita. And sign up says, have you ever seen the Lone Ranger? Silver is way cooler than some boring ass gold. Gold is awesome. I love gold. And uh, let's see here. And people are only mesmerized because of the fake price. When you know what you know, and only you realize everyone is brainwashed. All right, sign up. Only you're right. Everybody else is wrong. That's right. That's what it boils down to. MG, when we recover all the gold from the shipwreck, will you buy any? Uh, I don't know. It depends on how much. Uh, Justin Sartain, thanks for the thumbs up, brother. Brinks, appreciate you coming by. It depends on how much they get out of the ground and what they sell it for. William Frost, stacking silver prevents you from... And let's see here. He says, in 1971, let me get over here. He says, in 1971, our family bought a brand new three-quarter ton Chevy pickup. Total cost $3,200. Quarter at the time was around $32 an ounce. Or would have taken 100 or so ounces to purchase that vehicle. Last year, bought a brand new GMC 4x4. Um, not much nicer than the 71. It cost over 70 It took 39 gold bars down, traded for around 2000 each, and paid off the new truck. It almost cost a third of the price of the earlier truck. Wow. That really puts it into perspective, William Frost. Well, we got a super chat from Mr. E, five quid. I suppose a cough, sneeze, fart, and a squat is dangerous at our age. Anywho, your channel is dynamite. Thank you, Mr. E. I appreciate that, my friend. Very kind of you. Man, very kind of you indeed. Thank you, sir. I'm going to give you five push-ups. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. We'll see what happens tomorrow night. Stay tuned tomorrow night. After the Moscow attack, we could see gold and silver move in a dramatic way. Let me give Mr. E five push-ups. Thank you for that kindness. Thank you for your kind words, too. Let's do it. All right. A one, two, three, four, and five. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Uh, 802, you're responding to my comment verbally on a live stream at this very moment. That's right, I sure am. Where are you? We're here, we're here, we're here. Frederick Valencia says, here your goal is to have enough to fill a water tower. If you open the lid of the water tower, you will hear the song, DuckTales. If you can't hear the song, you keep filling it. Interesting concept. There you go. Why ever stop? Well, I'm not saying that necessarily to stop. But uh, that, but that is a very good question. The answer of it will come in tomorrow morning's video. Stay tuned for that. I need to work on that, actually. I need to work on it. And, uh, whoa, Tiger Stacker. Whoa, thank you so much, my friend. Uncle Sam, you're the best. Uncle Sam, you're the best. Thank you, Tiger Stacker. $4.99, super chat, $1.2 trillion budget. Budget could move gold. It is possible. A red crawler, although I don't know that necessarily going to happen in effect right away. But Tiger Stacker, I owe you five push-ups. And thank you, my friend. Very kind of use indeed, sir. So glad you're back. I hope you're doing well. Let's get in effect for Tiger Stacker. Five push-ups. We're getting the exercise in tonight. Oh, yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> and one, two, three, four. Five. There we go. All right. Nice. 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 Let's see here. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Uh, Martin Lee is coming to us from New Zealand. Welcome, Martin Lee. Thank you for joining us here. 
uh, this fine day because it's daytime there. And likely late morning, if I, my math is correct, although I'm not really checking it on. But thank you for being here, Mr. Martin Lee. All right. And we've got um, Ed B. 3877 comments on the, the news from Wisconsin. That's very exciting to hear. Congrats to the people of Wisconsin. Welcome to the club of other states such as Washington for not taxing gold or silver bullion. Hopefully... That will also extend to pre-33 gold coins as well. It should. Any any gold coin and silver coins should be covered by this. All right. Very good. Let's see here. All right. Ah, let's see here. Let's press ahead here with John Bannon's comment on the huge gold nugget find. He says this. Uh, lots of shipwrecks around the island I live on. I've found stuff before. Not a lot may be announced, maybe more. Can't admit to it here. Government here would take it and then waste it. Yes, it's true through that, for sure. Well, glad we found some. Glad you found some. All right. Mm. Oh, it's 1 p.m., so it's afternoon there in New Zealand. All right. Let's see here. We've got Bebob. Says here, look at your stock portfolio. What can you afford to take away from it? Maybe dividends and buy with that instead of investing in the company? Just a thought. That's a good idea. That's another way to do it for sure. Yes, indeed. Tiger Stacker. Sorry, last message with voice recognition while driving. But you are the best. Uncle Sal, sorry, last message was messed up with voice recognition. No worries. Thank you. I guess I meant to say Sal instead of Sam. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. I owe you five more push-ups. Thank you, brother. Be safe out there on the roads. You are the man. Very kind of you, my friend. Let's do it. Five more for Tiger Stacker. The one of the only. Check out his channel, by the way. He did a great interview with a, um, a legislator from uh, West Virginia. Very smart individual about uh, the, the legislation pending there for making gold and silver money. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. And I found a cat whisker. I found a cat whisker on the floor here. That thing is a thick whisker. That's crazy. I might save that somewhere so I can show it in a video. I'm going to put that over here. One of these days I'll show that, that cat. You don't see cat whiskers shed or too much, but... That was an official cat whisker that shed insane in the membrane. Maybe it was a tiger uh, whisker. Tiger whisker. All right. Okay. Uh, Bebop, I think it would be fun to experience just to find a small picker or even a few flakes of gold. That would be cool. To say that you actually found gold from nature would be something else. And not a seeded piece of gold in one of those pay for pan of gold, but actually be out and finding it on your own. That would be some. There's no other experience I can think that could uh, that could uh, replace that. That would be so cool to do. You're right. Mm. And great for paint brushes. That's right. Those whiskers. This one look like a paintbrush thing. James O'Neill Brown with some algorithmic emoticons on this one, and I appreciate that, my friend. All of it matters, all of it counts. Steve AUAG, very nice. I think it really needs to be my next 10-ounce bar. I love those old-school Geiger bars. Very, very cool. Yes, pussy have. There you go. I like that. Pussy have. And uh, let's see here. We've got um, werewolves of silver. Love silver. Sweet loaf of cuddly furry kitty. And a loaf of silver, speaking of kitty, was in this video. Johann Sebastian Silver Geiger. Bart Silver, the dreaded white Atmex box. you got to eat your Wheaties for that one. Yes, indeed, it does take some strength to open it up. And they still pa package things a little bit weird. But anyways. Flash Hider says, those are some very nice bars. I like how they contain security features. I do, too. Uh, we're going back nine years now. Everybody loves a cat, but... Sweet bar. Need to get me some of them as well. Thank you. Not a polite Canadian. He is the man. And to Mr. Venetian Lion here comments on this video. Let's see what he's got to say. 
Um, you can train your cat to help with the unboxing. Watching you take that AtMac package, I have to be mentally preparing myself when those boxes arrive. The Geigers are great. I have one of the Kilo bars, and it is dynamite. Have a great weekend. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed. All right. Anxious Stacker is here. I'm making dinner, but I'm listening along. Thank you, Anxious Stacker. So good to see you. We're still here, Alabama. Good to see you. Alabama 47. Bubba Love says, thank you. Thank you, Bubba Love. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Long time. And Argentum says here, computer repair tool. Yeah. I forgot exactly where I said that in the video. 2014 Canadian Silver uh, Leaf Unpackaging. This is back when they were first coming out with the new security features with the radio lines. That started in 2014. That was a pretty big deal when it came out. So Salute 9 says, Canadians make the best bullion in the world. It's not diluted with base metals like the American Eagle. Well, the American Eagle's not either. Uh, in the South African Krugerrand, they didn't have a silver coin. And then I think you're referring to gold or conflating gold with silver. Um... And this, but you're right. As far as gold coins, you're right. But now, 2006, the United States did come out with a buffalo, which is pure gold. Um, but the silver eagle is pure silver. Three nines fine. All right. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bullion Novice says here, that looks beautiful. 100 ounces is my goal. Check out my first vid. How long did it take you to, for him to accumulate this much? I'm not sure. It's a revolving kind of stack there. But anyways, we're long away from that. And our first look at the Kennedy Gold Half Dollar. Great video as always. He, he was Salivates Metal. I don't see a shot of the reverse. Do you know what it will be? Yes. And they didn't show it early on. I was very lucky to be able to get that and exclusive on that. But anyways... Uh, Michael Tyler Stewart says, Hi, someone who fixes computers for a living. I lulled when you said it looks like something you'd use to fix the inside of a computer. All right. Must have been some sort of tool or something they had in there. All right. Siano Lowe says, Thanks for sharing these. I love these. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that so much. Love these coins. The mint shipping time is ridiculous. I wonder how it will be when the gold and silver JFKs are released. Yeah, I don't know. They, they, I think they've improved uh to some extent but anyways we'll see here very good glad you guys are here with us tonight appreciate it oh yeah and jason roy from nine years ago silver in the thick of it all yeah that was back when they started to do that i still have that coin really a neat piece i need to find where that thing is at i think i maybe showed it in the uh in the full stack video uh, for the first ounce, that's a good question. Probably a gold eagle because it's so much more popular and so much more and a little bit cheaper. But yes, it probably would be an eagle, even though it's not pure gold. But you really can't go wrong with either. And uh, let's get over here to the invisible one with an alert from nine years ago. I'm sorry I missed it. Argentina just defaulted on bonds being called up for a billion from hedge funds. That have been holding them 10 years plus. Thank goodness they got the Malay in there now to try to turn things around. Yes, indeed. All right. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, where are we at? Let's get down on it. I'm going to have to do this. And this is a, let's see here, let's do this, get this thing going. Come on, we got to get to this present age at least. All right, uh, the Telecorrect, the coin medic. You know what? That's a cool round. I've been looking for other places to buy silver from. I just had a bad experience with a company that I often purchased from and was very upset. So I think you gave me somewhere else to look to check out. Use the man salivate. Thank you. Yep, I know. I hear you. I've had a bad experience with a major bullion dealer, too. I didn't speak a whole lot about it, but uh, it does happen from time to time, and I'm sorry about that. Yes, indeed. Hope we are able to find satisfaction with another company. Nice looking around. Says reverse proof. Thank you. Yes. Very cool piece, indeed. 
And the BSD on this thick round, 2013-2014, was a year of the nice thick rounds. Wow, that is one heavy chunk. I'm sure there isn't chocolate in there like a big chunky bar. Love it. I've never seen anything like that round sweet. I rushed to the Gold Exchange website and didn't see it there at all. Not even in their sold out section. But I did see that the literally first line of their homepage is Props Salivate Metals YouTube video. Wow. I did not know that. That's wild. GoldExchange.com. I don't know if they're still around or not. That's pretty wild. All right, the Platinum Beast is here waving to us. Welcome, Platinum Beast. Welcome, my friend. Good to see you. He is here. Make sure to check out his channel. Del Rugby says, I like him thick. Very interesting. You can put it in an airtight. Yes, and dude, airtight type. You can find a cool airtight to fit that. That was They were hard to find at the time, this airtight to fit those two-ounce pieces. Wayne says, nice coin, heavy weight. Gotta love it. Uh, Mike uh, Turnup says, Nice video. I think we have all that dilemma when we start. The stack or collect? Heck, let's do both at the same time. Exactly. Stacking and collecting. Daniel Church. I've been waiting uh, to get into gold. Maybe this will be my first. Yes, a good first piece indeed. Maldonado says, love it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Very cool round, says Flash Rider. Very thick and cool round. Love them thick. Mr. Bobby Constantine. Wow, that looks so cool. All right, we're going to do through these pretty quickly. Sweet round says Farm Silver. Thank you. Yeah, love them. I need to find that where that round is now. Um, not a polite Canadian says need two. Still keeping one on this one. The silver price fix is in. And he has been doing a lot of research on this, he says. What are your, what are you or anyone else's personal opinion on the direction of spot price on August 15th only? Yeah, August 15th must had a pretty uh, big event or something happening in 2014. And I don't know exactly what it was. But uh, just goes to show you that we are now going back in time to about a year and a half that this channel has been in existence. This is how back we're going, far back we're going on these comments. It's crazy. Bubba Love, thank you for the update. Thank you, Bubba Love. Appreciate it. And uh, Coin Boy is awesome, says, like that. That's right, just like that. And the Raven Dude says, I got a feeling a lot of people will quit buying a 2014 ASC because of this news. Uh, don't know. Don't know. It's not really related that I know of. But I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't think it was wrong because that time has already passed. The Raven Dude uh, Raven Door Dude, I can see halves coming in different packages due to being struck at two different mints, but the dollar coin is a waste of shipping and handling. You never see Heston's Plan of the Apes. That one is awesome. Led to, I think, five more old movies with the series. Yes, I, did. I finally did see it. I finally did see it after time. I don't know why I did an unboxing of the Plan of the Apes and the half dollar, I guess, just for mixing it up, I guess. But uh, they stopped the series. I guess they didn't do very well. Um, but I digress. Um, when Jackie George says here, my favorite quote from Heston is, get off, you damn filthy ape, or words of that effect. It's a classic, and your unboxing makes me want to check out the new ones. I'll have to hit Costco this Sunday. There you go. All right, folks. Man, we've had a good night tonight. I appreciate you being here. I've got work to do on a video that's going to be coming out tomorrow morning. You're not going to want to miss that video. Tomorrow morning, I hope you all will check it out. Thank you all for being here. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for coming on on this impromptu surprise live stream. And I want to leave you with this sage piece of advice. And that is this, to keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the ground. And we're going to see you tomorrow night for another live stream as the markets open. Should be interesting with what's been happening over the weekend or with that terror attack. So you never know. So a multitude of gratitude to you all. And we'll talk to you tomorrow night. Take care. See ya.